What's up guys, Sinclair Photos here and today we are at Aston Martin of like Houston. It's called Star Motor Cars. We're here checking out the new Aston Martin DBS Superleggera. It's starting to rain, so we're gonna hop right inside. Check it out, this is the first one in the country, first one on American soil. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's a beautiful car. Let's dive in and run over some stats, specs, and prices about this beautiful Aston Martin. Let's hop right in, it's right there. Alright guys, here it is, the first Aston Martin DBS Superleggera in the country. This one is still a prototype car, so it's not how it's finally going to be, but it's pretty dang close. Has a, I believe he said, 5.7 liter V12 twin turbo engine that gets you to 0 to 60 somewhere around 3 seconds. Now, this car is about to hit the shelves, I guess you could say, in 3 months. So. Gotta wait a little bit longer till then. I don't know why we got the first one. Oh, that's a happy boy sitting in there right now. Damn, that looks sick. This is Kyle's favorite car on the market right now. That sounds good. How's that? <laughs> Ooh -wee. Look how easy Drew gets in there. A car fit for a king. Alright, we're gonna hop in. I love how the doors come up. They told us they did that on purpose. It goes up like that instead of just out regular so they don't hit curbs. Just genius. I'm gonna slide on in. Easier than your girl's DMs. I'll tell you that right now. So looking around. You got all the luxuries that Aston Martin provides. On the door sill you have forged carbon fiber, which is a very nice touch that the Performante actually started with. And these seats are so comfortable and so well designed. I love it so much. And as you know with Aston Martin, you put the key in down here somewhere and then you press the button. We got to hear the startup a couple seconds ago. Very nice. Paddle shifters more forged carbon not too bad of visibility either and you can even see out the back what you might not realize there are back seats with seat belts and cup holders so you can take a family of four out in the new DBS Superleggera I like this as well a little infotainment center button and all the forged carbon fiber on the center console with your gear shifter right there. All right, so I'm gonna run you through what all the buttons do. Got your sport mode, your home button for the infotainment system, back button, pick up call, hang up call, up or down volume for your talking S. Your suspension, this is up shift, down shift. I'm not really sure what these scrolly ones do. But then you have park reverse, engine start stop, neutral drive. Um, Temperature up and down in the cabin, heat where you're going, um, fan speed for the passenger, the same thing. Uh, seat cooler, or seat warmer, seat cooler. Got your AC, your radio, all your nav stuff. Something else. Oh, this is probably backup camera. Then your hazards, and then this is how you navigate the infotainment system. But I don't think it works because it's a it's like a test car. Um, got your blinkers. And your windshield wipers, on this windshield wiper knob, and the blinkers on the same side, and then down here, your dimmers for your lights and your like light settings, and then on the side of the center console, you have your driving memory positions. So this is like you have three options of how like people sit, just in case you have different drivers or you like to sit different ways for different like driving conditions, like a track mode. Like a, just a cruising mode and maybe like a, a racing mode on the highway. And you get pretty cool pedals down here too. So this is not the, like the actual key that you're going to get when you buy yours. But it's the prototype one because this is the prototype. So that's pretty interesting to see how they look before they actually come out. But the Aston Martin keys are very, very nice when they come out. So that's a little bit what we know about the new Aston Martin and DBS Superleggera. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section below. The retail price for this car is going to be around $300,000. So that's a little uh, turn off for me. 
because I could literally get an Aventador for that price. This does have the twin turbo V12, while the Aventador just has the naturally aspirated V12. But this would be a very, very good daily, in my opinion. Like, I could see me driving this every single day of the week, as opposed to the DB11 or the Rapide over there. That's actually the new DB11 Volante without a roof, so that's pretty cool. And we have a Zagato over there, but this is the star of the show. All right guys, that has been the first kind of look at the Aston Martin DBS Superleisure. Take in mind, this is a prototype, but it's still the first one in the United States. The next like batch are gonna be coming about, what do you say three months? Three, three months, three, I think, is the first customer. About three months for the first customer car to land in the US. This is the sketchiest thing. Let's check out how this door shuts. See, it doesn't close all the way and then it's still like cracked at the top and if you try to pull it, it like sounds like metal scraping. So it's kind of sketch. But that has been it. Thank you for Kyle for driving. Thank you for being at home. Welcome back to the USA, my brother. And that's gonna be it. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see, see you in the next video.